To create this design, you need to add a cylinder. Then scale it along the X and Y axis. Then apply the scale. And move it along the Z axis. Then go to the edit mode, add a few loop cuts. Then select these faces. And use the insert operation. Select the outer face loop. And extrude along the normal. Then add loop cuts like this. Then select this face loop and extrude along the normal. Then add one more edge loop. Select this face loop. And scale it along the X and Y axis. Scale this face loop also. Then select these edge loops and move them along the Z axis. Then take the symmetry along the Z axis. Then select these faces and move them along the Z axis. Then add loop cuts like this. Then select these faces. And use the insert operation. Then select these words and move them along the z-axis. Then select these faces and extrude them along the normal. Then you need to add one more cylinder with 16 words. Then rotate it and scale it down. Give the right position to it. For that you can use the snap 3D cursor. Snap the 3D cursor to the vertex and then snap the cylinder to 3D cursor. Then rotate it into 45 degree angle. Then select these two objects and use the boolean operation difference. Then apply the modifier, delete the cutter object. Then select everything and merge by distance. Increase the merging distance. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of horizontal cuts. And try to create the right topology for that boolean detail. I will try to create a loop structure around that boolean detail. You can see the process. Use the knife tool and create this kind of loop structure. Select these words and merge them at the last. And then dissolve these edges. You will get this kind of loop structure. Select these faces, make a separate object. Then rotate this object into 45 degree angle. Apply the rotation. And then, take the symmetry along the x-axis. Then select this edge loop and add bevel on it. Add 2 segment bevel and shape factor should be 1. Then select the words and adjust their position a little bit. Then take the symmetry. Then select this inner face and move it along the y-axis. Then use the insert operation and create a simple detail add there. In this way. Then rotate this object into 45 degree angle and apply the rotation and take the symmetry. Then select the first object. Select the top faces and delete them. Then add the sub modifier. And then add few loop cuts like this. We need to create right topology for it. You need to add supported loop cuts for the model. Then select this edge loop. And Ctrl B add bevel on them. Select these edges with the shift select. And then Ctrl B add bevel on them. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of cut. We want more sharper corners so that's why we need to do this. If you are okay with the curved corners then you can leave it as it is. Then add support to loop cuts and just connect them in this way. Then take the symmetry and then dissolve these edges. Then add one loop cut here. Select these words and connect them. And then create a loop structure like this. Dissolve these edges. In this way you will get a loop structure. Now you need to take the symmetry. So select these faces. Then press P and make a separate object. Now set the origin to the object and then take the symmetry along the z-axis. Then add a few loop cuts like this. Add a few more loop cuts then select these face loops and press Alt S to scale them along the normal. Then select these words and move them along the z-axis little bit. And then select these edge loops and Ctrl B add bevel on them to get the sharper details. Then move the stop faces along the z-axis. 
move this object along the z-axis and then delete the star faces then select these objects and join them together then select this edge loops and bridge edge loop and dissolve one edge then select these edge loops and control B add bevel on them select these inner faces and use the insert operation then select these edge loops and add bevel on them then select these two objects and join them then select everything and merge by distance now select these faces and press P to make a separate object then duplicate it and rotate it into 90 degree and move it along the Z axis then select these three objects and join them then merge by distance then rotate it into 45 degree angle then you need to add one plane rotate it into 90 degree then select these words and delete only words then select this word and snap 3d cursor to it then select this word snap this word to 3d cursor then move this edge along the y axis then select this word and extrude it and move it along the y axis then add bevel on this word with the control b and v and add a 4 segment bevel then convert it to the curve and then go to the geometry then increase the depth and the resolution then select these faces and dissolve them and create a simple looking detail add there these are the pipe details for that prop then dissolve these edges and then adjust the position of the edge then convert this object to the mesh then select the edge loop and press F to fill the gap then add bevel on it then select this face, delete it, select the edge loop and use the grid fill then select the star face, delete it then select the edge loop then face and grid fill and then take the symmetry along the y axis duplicate these pipes and rotate them into 90 degree so in this way you can create this kind of design you can see the details you can see the topology so this is a simple and easy hard surface prop we have created here so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel bye bye so next video take care